Hi, this is Patrick from BIMObject and what I would like to show you here today is the newly released Dynaco Entromatic High Speed Doors, uh, which is available for you to download free at the BIMObject.com portal. Uh, and this is the assortment we have. Uh, it's a wide range of high speed doors. Uh, and as you usually can see here, we have the general information, the links related, the information classifications and so on. Uh, as well as the downloads, in this case for both ArchiCAD and Revit. Uh, but for this video, we'll have a look at the ArchiCAD version, so I'll jump right to it uh, and give you a short demonstration. So, I've pre-loaded pre the doors in. You can, of course, download it through the app if you would like to, uh, straight from the in the ArchiCAD interface. Uh, but when uh, here I've pre-loaded it in, and as you can see, we have uh, a, a library here with all the doors and this is the user interface and as you can see the user interface is consistent all the way through so it's very easy for you to navigate through it and, and recognize the different settings for each and every door so I thought we'll start with the one up here the D311 uh, and if we start at the top you can see we have structural material so that's the structure of the actual door uh, we have galvanized and stainless steel for that uh, and depending what you choose you can also have the, the different drum co the different covers in those materials as well. Uh, you have possibility to change mode aside, uh, a additional four frame as well as windows and vision panels. But I, I'll start with placing this one out. Uh, and as you can see, uh, this is this room is way too small. This wall is way too small for this one. Uh, so I'll move it over here to the right instead. Uh, and if we zoom in here a bit, we can have a quick look at the 2D detailing. Uh, so I changed the scale here to one to 20. Uh, the detail level in the in these doors are scale sensitive, so depending on what scale you choose, the more or less detail you get. Uh, and here you can see the profiles and and also the uh, the uh, the space required for the different covers and control panels. Uh, and this is how the door looks in 3D. Uh, we can see now straight away that it's placed a, a bit too high in the wall. It's not level with the ground floor, so we'll go in here and just lower it down. Uh, as well as the walls are too uh, are not tall enough, so we we'll unlink them and we set a different height here, so it looks a bit better. And if we swing around here and have a look on the inside, you, you can see the workflow here that it's quite easy to uh, to get a grip of uh, the door in its space, and it's easy to plan and how everything will look like. So uh, for this for demonstration purposes, I'll remove these walls here. Uh, and this door now has all the covers, as you can see. Uh, preset and you also have the control box here which you can move freely with its hot with its hotspot as well as actually opening and closing the the door to illustrate its functionality so let's have a deeper look into the different settings in the user interface here so I'll select the door here and uh, we'll go into the user interface uh, we can deselect all the covers as an example so you can see how the door looks without the covers um, if you consult the Dynaco website or consult Dynaco directly, you will also get to know what is optional and what is standard for this door. Uh, for the windows and vision panels, we have several options. This first one is the small windows option, which you can arrange in amount of columns and rows. So in this example, I choose, the, I choose three rows and three columns. I get the windows placed and I can also arra arrange them along the door leaf to have uh, whatever design I, I would like. Uh, this, of, this of course makes it very versatile for you to uh, produce or to specify the door you really want and to make it look as good as possible in a project. So these are the 400 millimeter vision panels and as you can see here you can also adjust those in heights uh, along, along the door leaf. And the final option for uh, vision panels is the 800 millimeter um, variety and this is how it looks. So it's a wide range of design possibilities for you, um, both in structure, um, outer looks as well as uh, the vision panels. So back to the structure as I mentioned, if I choose for example stainless steel here, I can only have stainless steel for the, co for the different covers and if I choose galvanized I can have both and this is, a, uh, this is something which uh, Dynaco has specified. Uh, second page here is a, is a description text uh, where you can find uh, lots of necessary information and also another 
user interface page here for the control boxes so I can actually specify what control box I want for this particular door. Uh, and of course you can always move all of them around as you like um, alongside the wall where the door is installed. So if I change to, to, to Dynalogic 2 here for example you can see I get a smaller box. Uh, we also have different color varieties for um, for the door leaf as well as the covers. Uh, so I could, if I would want to specify, for example, a orange door leaf here, and I could go down to the different covers and maybe choose a green uh, raw color for the for the covers. Uh, and as you can see, it changes instantly in the uh, in the three D view. And to finish the user interface off here, we have uh, some ArchiCAD Archi specific settings and also the information page where you can find extensive, extensive information about this door. So if you want to have a deeper look at this, it's available for you to download at bimobject.com.